YouTube. Special effects in Premiere. Yeah! Oh, ee ho, hee ho, chicka chick in a big bowl. Like chickens, like to hatch some eggs to eat them up, eat them up, boga loo. Chicka chicka bum, chicka bum, chicka bum, chum. I love some chucky. All right, all right. Uh, welcome back to the Timmy Tube Network. Uh, today we're going to cover a few things some special effects in Premiere. Um, I don't know if you remember, uh, Timmy did a song called The Twelve Days of Christmas, and this was one of the puppets. And if you can see here, it's just a uh, clothes, uh, clothes hanger with a piece of wood taped to the end and some foam. I'll zoom, put it up close so you can see the foam. But on the other side, I put white felt, some eyes, and a mouth. On the sixth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me six teas a playing. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, they were just tee, 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 and they were dancing around. <laughs> and, uh, but what I um, did was I made each tee a different color. So I am going to show you how to do that in Photoshop and Premiere. Even though it's a Premiere effect, I'm going to show you a couple ways to do this effect. So anyway, T T T T T T T T. <laughs> All right, let's get to it. Okay, so this is how I created multiple colored T's, or you know, the T puppet. Um, in Premiere. So let me go ahead and open up Premiere and I've started out a, uh, a new project and and I already have most of it there. So anyway let me just show you here is the video and it's just me wiggling the T in front of the green screen. Okay so we can use that as the first one and so now we got the color white now, what else I did is I made what they call a color mat. Now, what you want to do is you want to go to edit, or where is it? Oh, no, it's under file, new, and then you go over here, and then you see color mat. So when you do the color mat, it'll ask you the height and stuff, square pixels. I just pretty much leave it like it is, and then hit OK, and then you can choose what color you want on that mat. So once you do that mat, you just take it and bring it down here and put it on top of the file that you want. Okay? Now, I've put it on this this one here. Okay? I already did these cuz I I wanted to not to be so take so much time so anyway I went ahead and I did these color mats now this color mat you can see was purple okay and then I went to the uh, the color mat uh, effect controls and there is an opacity um, effect there and then it says blend mode okay so I dropped it down to 77% and then I went up here to the different um, to the actual blend mode, and there's all all kinds of different blending you can do with opacity. But I use difference, okay? So now we have the difference blend mode at 77 percent, and this is what it did. It actually changed the white to a green, and it made the green screen a light purple, okay? So I did that several times to get different colors. Let's go over to this color mat. Okay, this made the white T a light blue. But if you look at the color mat, it's actually red. Okay, and it also has the same 77% opacity with the difference blend mode. Now let's go over here and look at this color mat. Okay, now the T is yellow. Let's see what the color mat is, and it's blue. Okay, so um, 
Now let's go over to this mat over here and see. Now the T is purple. Let's click on the color mat. And the color mat is actually green. And of course, all these are the same opacities. Now, what you can do is you can do your color mats, put them over top of that, and go over here and, and um, click on the opacity and hit copy. Or you can click on the opacity, hit copy, and it'll copy the blend mode and the percentage of the opacity. And then you can just go ahead and then you can do this and then go up here and paste. And you can paste that opacity to all of your color mats. Okay, so um, now let's go down here to this color mat. That's the purple one. And this is blue. Now let's see what the color mat color. See, it was yellow. And you have a wide range of different colors. You know, you can do a greenish yellow, a light blue, you know, a dark purple. But anyway, these were just some of the colors that I did for these color mats here. So now what you want to do is you're going to want to take these color these uh, color mats and we're going to drag them all together. We're going to put them all together like so. Okay. I mean, you don't have to put them together. I'm just doing this so when I when I export this, let me move this out of the way. I can't see where my thing is here it is and that what this thing right here does it only exports what you have in the this little uh i don't know i don't know what you call this thing um but you can scrub it and put it anywhere you want i'm gonna do it here i guess this would be called uh uh, well, here, I'll, I'll figure it out, but let me put this back up here because we're going to need that in a minute. But when you uh, once you uh, get it down here, so you have all the different colors, okay? And they're basically doing the same animation. we got white, green, light blue, yellow, purple, and blue. And um, what you want to do is you want to export media. Okay, that... I know what that is now. This thing right here w is considered to be your work area. So the reason why I put it there, because I don't want it to render this whole video. I just want it to render this one area here. So when I go export media, um, it's only, if you notice down here, the work area is, is just that little area that I used with that scrubber at the top of the, the timeline down here. So then we want... The format to be H.264. We don't want it to be YouTube because we're not finishing it out yet. We're not finalizing the video. But I do want it to be HD 1080p 29 frames per second. So click that. And then we're going to export this somewhere. Let's just put it here for the ease of use. And now I'm going to export that. So as it's exporting this little, uh, I don't know, it's just a few seconds long. Uh, once I export that, then I'll bring it in to finalize that video. And what I'll use, I'll either use the chroma key or color key, one of the keys to take out the background like this light blue here. When I take that out, it's going to leave the yellow T. So, and I'll do that on all of the five colors. So, uh, right now we're just waiting for this to render. So, come on, encode, encode. Sitting and waiting, waiting and sitting, sitting and waiting, waiting and sitting. Okay, second verse. Waiting and sitting. Sitting and waiting. Let's speed it up a little bit. All right. Well, that's it's coming to an end here. So um, now that this video is rendered, 
what we're going to do next is we're going to import that rendering. So let this finalize, finish on up. All right, now go up here to File, Import. We'll go to where it was, uh, where we did it, Sequence 1. So now we import that. Okay, now that it's imported, what we're going to do is, uh, let me just go down here a little bit so you can see. Now I'm going to slice it up. There's the white. Just uh, go over here to the razor tool and we're going to slice it there. Move it down. Slice it here. Move it down. Slice it here, move it down. And slice it here. In between here somewhere. Alright, now that we have those sliced, what we're going to do is we're going to go down here to video effects. Now, um, this first one, we're definitely going to use chroma key. So go ahead and drag the chroma key effect over to it. Use the eyedropper tool and select the green so we can take out the green. Okay. Yeah, something like that. Now you can st still see I'm there, but that's easy to get rem to remove. What you go you do is you go to video effects, you go down here to transform, and I'll be honest with you, I love this tool. It's called Crop. I use this all the time, especially when I'm green screening. So then you click on the crop and then you can take me out and you don't have to worry about me being green screened or anything like that. Okay. So, and it, you know, you can crop the whole thing, but it really depends on the motion of the T. You know, it may go over the edge of the crop, um, but it looks pretty good. So, and uh, you can actually take crop and hit copy. Okay, and go down here and and paste it to all these other ones. And it's already been set, so I mean that's a real big time saver. Okay, so now that you've cropped each and every one, you, we'll go down here and you can see it's all been cropped. Okay, and if you have to, you can go back and, and set those. Um, so anyway, now. Let's use the, uh, I, I don't remember what I use, but let's use the color key on this just to see how that works. It may work pretty well. So use the eyedropper tool again. It's like the chroma key tool. And we'll select that color. Okay, we can pretty much crop, crop the color out all the way. All right, so now we got a green tee just dancing around on black. Okay, we got a white tee and a green tee. Let's go over to this one. We're going to use the color key tool again. Put it here. Let's eye drop it. Let's select the color that we want to take out. And let's remove it. Okay, so now we got that T. And now let's go on down. Bring color key to this one. Let's go ahead and select the eyedropper tool, the color to take out, remove it, go to the next one, do the same thing, remove it, and then go down to the next one, bring the color key over, remove it. Okay, so now we have a bunch of different color tees. This, I need to get, well, no, it's pretty much gone. Well, it looks like it's still there. Let's go ahead and take that out. Why is that green, though? It shouldn't be green. Um, anyway, now what we're going to do is, now we're going to, since working with layers is great. Okay, so we have this tee. 
let's scale it on down and we'll put them over here put that T there now drag this one up a layer and put it on top okay now you have two T's we're gonna scale it down a little bit make him close to the same size we'll put him here I guess go to the next T do the same thing drag him on top where is he at he's right there we can scale him down we'll move him down let's put him over the top of that now get this yellow T and do the same thing all the way up and that's the great thing about layers is you can stack them on up so we'll take this T put him over here keep on going down stack it up this purple T over here bring him since his green showing we'll bring him to the bottom hide that and then the last one we got this blue T scale scale him down as well and we'll bring him down here so now let's go ahead and play the animation and it's not doing anything because <laughs> it's it's using a lot of the the ram all right well let's go grab that thing let's just render it let's just render it real quick grab that and then i can show it to you well, I, let's see here put that there let's go ahead and bring this here now the one thing if you wanted to render it in this program you can do that as well and I'm going to show you how you do that do you see how this is yellow yellow means it's it's only using a little bit of the RAM memory but when it's red like this it will cause it to slow down especially if you have a lot of layers and with special effects in them so what you do you go up here to sequence and then you can render effects in work area so let's go ahead and render those effects okay now that it's done you can see the little line up here is green that's because it rendered a small file for these three so you can see the animation now you see that there's all the T's they're dancing around see there's the T's so anyway guys that's how you make different colors for one puppet that's how i did it i'm sure there's a hundred thousand ways to do this um, but i wanted to show you the way i did it in the video um, i will also make a link to the 12 days of christmas timmy style down in the description if you want to see the video so anyway guys that is that all right all right, well, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, liked the little short clip that I put in there of the actual video of the T, 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 T. And, um, you know, if you did like the video, hit the bell, comment, like, subscribe, do all the crap that YouTube makes you do to stay up to date with our newest videos. And, uh, you know, come back and see us here on the Timmy Tube Network. All right, we'll see you later. Ching, ching, bong, ching, bong, ching, bong, jump. I love some chucky. I like beef chucky. Beef chucky. Beef, 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 beef chucky. Beef, beef, beef chucky. Beef, beef, beef chucky. Beef, beef chucky. I like a big fat beef chucky.